And now to the apparent end of the longest war in U.S. history. President Biden expected to announce today the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan by September 11th, 20 years after the terror attacks on 9-11. Chief White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has those details for us. Good morning, Cecilia. Hi, Robin. Good morning to you. So there are still as many as 3,500 American troops there in Afghanistan right now, and this drawdown would bring that number to, to zero. It's been called America's Forever War. And let me just show you the numbers. They are staggering. Take a look. More than 2,300 American troops killed in this time period. More than 40,000 Afghan civilians killed there. The cost, 825 billion dollars. The administration says the threats have changed facing the United States in the last two decades. Al Qaeda no longer poses a threat to the homeland, but some Republicans are pushing back right now. Mitch McConnell is saying that we are turning tail and running, saying we're abandoning our allies there. The administration says humanitarian aid will still be provided. And Robin, after the president makes this announcement today, he's then going to head to Arlington Cemetery to pay respects to those service members who were killed in the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. I have to keep in mind all those lives lost. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.